Hi, Hi, we're John and Leah, Leah and this video is all about words that we Brits pronounce very differently to our American friends. We've learned this over the years, guys. There's certain things we say and we get comments saying that's pronounced incorrectly. Yeah. And these are very personal examples. Yes. Yeah. And also, were we going to throw in a few of the ones that they also pronounce? In or was it just that we pronounce Yeah, we have a couple that we were like, oh, we pronounced that wrong. And they were like, actually, no, Brits pronounce that correctly. Americans pronounce that wrong. So we'll throw so them we'll throw in, in a, a few measure. of those. We love a good pronunciation video. We do. Before we get going, this video has been sponsored by Harry. So stay tuned because we will show you a little bit more of that on our toilet break or yes. loo break. Loo break or loo, restroom. Restroom, loo. What is it? I don't, toilet's really rude apparently. Yeah, because it's too specific to like toilet. I'm going American to sit success. on the toilet, yeah, it's too much. But we, yeah, loo. We restroom, loo. I like restroom. I yeah, like the way they do it. like, okay, rest. that's for a rest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bathroom I don't agree with because it doesn't have a bath in it. Yeah, I know. When they're like, where's the bathroom? And you're like, there isn't a bath here. There this is a, a restaurant. It's a sink and a toilet. So call it a toilet or a sink room. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't take your shower cap and your towel to a restaurant and be like, just gonna go to the bathroom. Like, why <laughs> yeah. would you say that? <laughs> so let's settle on loo or restroom. We like that. Loo, restroom. Yeah, yes. agreed. Anyway, okay. Joel, uh, one of the first words we're gonna talk about pronunciation wise is the word Nike. Nike. Yeah, so I still say Nike. You say Nike. And apparently it is Nike. And I, you know, guys, I don't often believe you guys when you <laughs> tell us that you can't wrong. Because I'm I've got this attitude that I'm always right, and I know that. <laughs> However, I've learned that it is like it's Nike, this after isn't it? a Greek goddess who's called Nike. Yes. So it is Nike. Goddess of victory, is it? Something like that. Something yeah. like that. I read Shoe Dog and it converted me to calling it Nike, but it's hard yeah. because I just say Nike. Nike. Just be like Nike, eh. Nike. 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 Oh, I love there's Nike, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nike, Nike. What do you Americans say? They say Nike. Nike. Oh, that's one that you actually say correct. So it's about yeah. words we've been saying. We've said it wrong. Incorrectly. But um, don't get me wrong, it's not just us that say Nike. Pretty much everyone in the UK just says Nike. Nike, yeah. So, so sorry to the Greek gods and sorry, sorry to the brand, but sorry. 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 <laughs> sorry. Um, the next one yes. that we get wrong frequently, but we love it, is it? guacamole. Guacamole. Quack quack, like a little quack, duck. Quack quack quack, quack quack. quack, we love quack. We love it. Yeah. I feel like we truly do offend people when we're in the States and we're like, can I get some guacamole on that, please? And they're yeah. like, what? It's guacamole. Yeah, guac. But this is weird. You'd associate the A sound like R with yeah. British things. Uh, like we say grass and Americans say grass. Yeah. But there are certain words where they R is more American, like pasta instead of pasta. Pasta? Guacamole instead of guacamole. So it's like we, we just reverse these <laughs> roles. Why pasta just shoot me? Pasta. Just shoot me to Isn't my that home. hilarious when they yeah. say pasta? Because it sounds like posh. You'd expect the stereotype to be Brits say pasta, Americans say pasta. pasta. But it's not, it's the other way around. That is so true. That's a really good yeah. that's a really good observation. So though. when Americans are like it's not grass, it's grass, and I'm like, well, well it's, it's pasta, pasta, it's not pasta. <gasps> I think we should adopt pasta. Pasta. Yeah. It, it does sound nice, doesn't it? Darling, can I make you some pasta tonight? Pasta. We're Do having pasta. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think it's time for a quick loo break. Yeah, let's head to the loo. <laughs> So for those of you who are familiar with our channel, you know how much we love using Harry's. Harry's have got an amazing deal at the moment, just $3 for a trial set. So what do you get in a trial set, Joel? In a trial set, you get a five blade razor, you get a weighted handle, you get a shave gel and you get a razor cover. Oh. So all of that just for $3 for your first set. So take advantage of that offer. As Leah said, we love them. They give you such a close shave. You get a 100% quality guarantee. So if you're not happy, you can get your money back. And um, to be honest, three dollars is not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money, so. and the refills are very, very reasonable. They're only two dollars. Yeah. Everyone loves Harry's. Everyone I've spoken to goes, "Yeah, Harry's." Yeah. I've been using Harry's for years. I so know. Have you. We yeah. love we it. We love it. They've got three different color handles. My dream for Harry's one day is that they've got even more colors because I love <laughs> collecting them. I think I've got like. Five blue, three green, <laughs> two orange, and I'm like, I want more. John needs to like hang them up on his shelf, like all on display for each other. I know. <laughs> that is oh, great. I love it so much. So don't forget to take advantage of that offer, guys. All the links will be in our description. And also, Harry's give 1% of all their global sales to non profit organizations, which is absolutely amazing. There's not many companies doing their bit for the greater good. So really go and support Harry's and yeah. have a nice close shave. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right, that's Let's video. crack on. What's the next? Oh, the next one related to this. Oh yeah. Taco. Taco. Why is it related? Well, because guacamole. Oh, tacos. of course. <laughs> of course. Oh, 
of course. Of course. We love tacos. I know, I love tacos. I made tacos the other night. I'll insert a picture here. Mm -hmm. But I completely forgot to put the guacamole on. I know, I put yeah. so much. God, you're disappointed. Yeah. I was disappointed in myself. Mm. I remembered the lime. I remembered the coriander, which yeah. I believe is called cilantro. Cilantro, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I, I put quite a lot of cilantro what about on. Pico de gallo. Pico de gallo. Oh, uh, yeah, I did. I chopped up tomatoes mm -hmm. and I chopped up some red onions. But what else goes in pico de gallo? I think it's just tomatoes, just tomatoes onions and a bit of coriander. Onions, coriander, yeah. yeah, I think so, something like that. That is my favourite of the salsa that, that you have. Oh, you Sorry. go medium, don't you? I go medium, that's too mild for me. Oh, but is it? Yeah, well, it's not spicy enough, is it? They should give people medium and the pico de gallo. Yeah, because I like the rawness of like, it's raw, raw vegetables, onions. raw onion, raw tomato. Yeah. But yeah, it's just not spicy enough. But <laughs> Americans say taco. Taco. Again, another posh A sound, taco. I'm making tacos to with guacamole. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it sounds very British, but mm. we just don't say that, do we? Yeah. We're like, get some tacos or some guacamole. Let's and this is what I'm confused, because I'm learning Spanish at the moment, and yeah. I feel like, I don't know this for sure, so correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, yeah. but I feel like if you're Spanish, you would say like taco. Really? You wouldn't say taco, taco. Oh, but maybe really? you would. Oh, who knows, maybe there's different like mm. regional accents in Spain that would say both, but I'm just a complete guess. I've yeah. got no idea. Well, we have no idea about anything, so, so take everything we say with a pinch of salt. <laughs> That's so uh, funny. What else have we got? Oh, I love this one. So yeah. there's certain place names in the US that you always get really wrong. One of them being Alabama. Alabama? It's well, why not? <laughs> Why, why is that wrong? Sweet home Alabama just Alabama. sounds so wrong. Okay, well if pasta is wrong and it's pasta, why is it, why is Alabama wrong? It's the same Al sound. Al pasta, Al Alabama, Al yeah. taco, guacamole, <laughs> You're Alabama. Saying, you've got an argument there, it's like there's genuine make up your mind. Yeah. Guys. Colorado, okay. it's not Colorado. Colorado. It's just too confusing. <laughs> <laughs> there's some other place names as well that I feel like us Brits say completely wrong. Mm. Um, one of them is, it's the name that's going to come to me, Houston. 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 It's wrong, isn't it? It's, it's, oh, is it no, it's Houston, we say Houston, and it's meant to be Houston. Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. What, like an owl? Houston. 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 We have a problem. That's what I always remember. Wow. Yeah. And there is another one as well, but it, I've, it's not, I've lost it. You've lost it. I've lost it completely. Yeah. Well, there's just lots of place names, but I, yeah, Alabama sounds normal to me. Yes. Not yeah. Alabama. <laughs> that, that grates on my ear, Alabama. Does it? Bam. 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 Thank you, man. Bam. Bam. Thank you, man. <laughs> oh, there's a, oh yeah, you forgot to say tacamole. Tacamole. Yeah, I invented this thing about an hour ago. Um, <laughs> It's guacamole for taco specifically. Why hasn't someone invented it and called it tacamole? Tacamole. Can I get you some tacamole on that? Yeah. A specific guac for tax. Yeah. Oh, tax. So so bad the way I say Tots. it. Tarts. Tax. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Guac for tax. It's tacamole. Yeah. Why hasn't someone invented that? Because that it, that would sell. That would sell. Can I say a slight tangent, but to do with tacos? Mm -hmm. I got four soft tacos next to each other, but mm -hmm. I had nothing to hold them upright, so I mm. stuck a wedge of lime on each end. So we don't know where we got to because um, Lee's neighbour interrupted us during the <laughs> Like literally so annoying that I've completely lost my train of thought. I was telling a story that I can't remember anymore. No. It was something to do with something. And it will probably come to me whilst we're sitting there eating lunch. Yeah, it will. It will. Oh, Get well. any memories at all. Oh, you oh. wedged it with lime. Thank tacos. you, thank you, thank there you. Go, Somebody messaged me saying that um, if you use a hard shell, soft shell, hard if you basically wedge the soft ones between hard shells, then boom, oh, that's how you get it to cool. stand up. I think I prefer yeah. soft shell tacos. Me because too. they don't crack and like when the hard ones crack or everything falls out yeah, and it's, I agree. it's an art form to eat tacos nicely. It really is. Yeah. I mean we couldn't exactly get our knives and forks next. We'd look so English. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, I, I, I prefer the soft shell ones too. Yeah. But I need to either buy a little a plate with like yeah. those little triangles. Stands. Yeah. But my favourite is quesadillas. Oh quesadillas? <laughs> quesadillas. quesadillas. <laughs> Oh, I love a quesadilla. Well, this is the trouble with us. All of these examples are things we genuinely just get wrong. Like, we genuinely say taco, guacamole. Quesadilla. But there are certain yeah. things that we do on purpose just because we like to wind people up. So yeah. quesadilla is funny. Yeah. Jalapeno is funny because it winds people up. Jalapeno. Um, I know it's jalapeno yes. or, or jalapeno. <gasps> wow. But I just say jalapeno. But I thought you said jalapeno. But I say jalapeno on purpose because I know that if I say jalapeno in a video, I'm going to get loads of comments of people being like, 
you're getting it wrong. And for some reason, that makes me feel happy. <laughs> He loves to trigger. I love winding people up. He loves to wind people up. Yeah. Um, there's also, is it, is it not offensive, but is calzone completely wrong for when the Italians put the pizza on? No, I think that's a, right, but they just calzone. have the accent of like calzone. calzone. Yeah. I think it's a short O, calzone, rather than we would say calzone. Yeah, yeah. proscuccio. That proscuccio. can't be right. That no. can't be right, can it? Proscuccio. Proscuccio. Or like chorizo. Some people say chorizo. Chorizo, I say. I say chorizo. If it's chorizo. But I think it's technically, a th yeah, chorizo. So, Barcelona. Yeah. Yeah. You have to put the lisp in. Yeah. Me and you are dying to go Barcelona. We, we really want to go Barcelona, Barcelona. to the beach. We, we really love, do. Yeah, we want Definitely. that. Definitely. We've both never been to Barcelona. No, we need to it's go. It's like everyone I know has been to Barcelona. I know. But we've never been. We've never been Barcelona, never been Madrid, never been Never been Madrid, Rome. never been Rome. Where are we on the doorstep? Yeah, they're literally, literally like two hour flight away. How's this turned from pronunciation to the places we've never been? I don't know. But where are some other places we haven't been? <laughs> <laughs> Right, back on track. Back is on there track. any more? That's what, everything we've written down, Joel. Oh, well, that is it then. Mm. Well, it's not a lot we're getting wrong, to be honest. If no. that's five things we're pronouncing wrong, then we're doing pretty well. Exactly. And by the way, if you're wondering that this water came out of nowhere, it's because after my neighbour made his entrance, we were so overwhelmed, we had to go and pour ourselves yeah, some water. Our mouths went dry. Yeah, we were like, oh my gosh, I need to like put up my forehead to relax because I'm just sweating up. Oh, Ooh. gosh. That's the thing, you just can't explain to someone what this job is. And that's luckily, it. he didn't ask any more questions, cause, probably because of coronavirus. Filming is quite normal now with Zoom and everything. Yes. So we probably just thought it's normal. Sorry, but we're just how filming do you for our job. That you just put your personality online. How do you explain that? You can't. You can't. You just can't. It was just no way. And also, I just, what was I going to say? This is. Brother feast fit the best. Brother, I'm sorry. It just, yeah, less like, questions. Just, just less asked. questions. Less questions. Yeah. Yes, we're we're a slightly different shade of skin colour. Yes. We are siblings. I am a pale Greek, but I am Greek <laughs> nonetheless. Exactly. <laughs> we really hope you enjoyed that video, guys, and a huge thank you to Harry's for sponsoring us. As we said before, all the links are in the description. Yeah. So go get that offer. Get your trial sets. Three dollars. You get the shaver. You get the shave gel and a sh shaver razor protector. It's a really good deal, so try it out. You won't regret it. We absolutely love them, and we'd never recommend anything to you if we didn't believe in it. Oh, can it just end? Right. Like, oh, the everything's going, the, the phone's going. Let's Guys, subscribe. subscribe. Namaste. Okay. Thank you. See you very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>